Katie, thank you. Tonight, only on News 5, our John McMichael takes us to Great Harvest Bread Company, putting in the extra hours to donate bread to organizations that help feed our community. A normal day at Great Harvest Bread all starts with the baking. And then we're getting our fresh breads out. We're starting to get them sliced and bagged and engage with customers. But of course, recently, that hustle and bustle has been different. Much, much different, yeah. But even so, the company rooted in giving back. Donating bread has been a part of uh, Great Harvest since we've opened the business. Has ramped up their bread-based community support even matching monetary donations to send as much bread out to groups that feed our town. We have some basic beliefs, and one of those is to give generously. And we're pretty serious about that stuff. Care and Share Food Bank, Tri Lakes Cares, Crossfires Ministries, Springs Rescue Mission. We're local, you know, we like to, uh, you know, keep it local and help out those that are local. I have to tell you, we're just in awestruck. We are so blessed and so amazed by Colorado Springs. And to see so many individuals and businesses from the community really rally to provide meals, especially when businesses themselves are hurting um, or struggling, uh, many of them are, and to see them say, hey, we've got some extra bread we want to donate, uh, we've got some prepackaged meals that we want to donate, it's really made a big difference. It brings people a little bit closer together in times like this. In all the craziness, there are rainbows. You just have to look for them. The plan to keep giving back at this level for as long as they can. So it's hard for us almost not to do it because then it feels a bit inauthentic. Watching out for you, Colorado. John McMichael, News 5. Uh, love that story. And in the past few weeks, the company has donated 300 loaves of bread. As you heard, they hope to continue to help doing that. And if you have a story you'd like to submit to We're Open Colorado, just email us news at koaa.com.